Well, you come to Sault Ste. Marie. Look who you find, Rico Fata. Rico, this, first of all, we have to point Tim Horton's cup in hand because you've gone from being a top hockey player to a, a top businessman. Well, in the last little while, yeah. I mean, I was just telling you the story. You know, after retiring from hockey, we, uh, my wife and I applied for Tim Hortons. We were fortunate enough to grab one here in Sault Ste. Marie. Uh, now we have two here in Sault Ste. Marie, so we make Sault Ste. Marie our home. So a little different than playing hockey, but uh, it's enjoyable at the same time. You think about where hockey was able to take you and the places you saw, the places you played. Do you miss the lifestyle? At times, yeah, I would have to say I do miss the lifestyle sometimes. But, you know, all in all, I get a chance to be at home with my family and friends. That's an important key for us here being in the Sioux. Um, you know, I, I miss the camaraderie. You know, I miss being in the dressing room. I miss being around the guys. I think, you know, I definitely miss the game. I mean, I, I still coach my daughters, uh, coach my little guy in hockey as well. Um, that's what I miss the most. I miss being around the guys, you know, getting up in the morning and going to the rink and chit-chatting with all the, you know, the different faces and the different personalities. That's what I miss the most. And I created a lot of friendships over the years. Your career in the OHL started right here in Sault Ste. Marie, but you were 15 years old. What was that like looking back? Well, I'm kind of old now, you can see, but... Uh, Come on, you look great. Well, you look like you still play. I kind of, a little bit, the odd time. But it, it's, you know, it's a long way. It was, it's been a long time since, you know, been here in the new rink, and then London's got a new rink, and, you know, the lights up, the nights absolutely took off, you know, after I left. Maybe that's a sign, I don't know, but... I don't know, you we'll you guys were this close. We were, we were, we were but, uh, you know, it, it's, it's amazing to go back and see things and, and remember you know, everything that you've done over your career, you know, and it's, you know, going from 15 years old, I'm turning 39 next week, and, you know, that's a long time. And sometimes you forget, and, and some of the advice that everybody asks me, you know, what advice do you want to give people? Just enjoy the time that you have, because all of a sudden you're gone, and now you got Tim Hortons, and now you're, you know, you're doing different things, you know, and just enjoy the moment and what you're doing, so. Knight's memories, obviously, the year you guys went all the way to Game 7 of the OHL Championship, but just playing in London, what stands out to you I mean the city and the fans I mean that for me was unbelievable I mean I every time I pass through we do a lot of traveling now with our children with hockey and soccer and uh, and what have you so you know every time I pass the ice house I always yell to the kids I say look at guys that's where dad used to play and you know those are so many great memories that I've had you know driving down Exeter you know going to Saunders I went to high school in Saunders and I brought the kids last year back to Saunders and I showed them my school where I went to so I know there's a lot of great memories, a lot of, you know, I stayed with the, the Bond family, you know, from Sault Ste. Marie originally, and, uh, they moved to London, I lived with them, uh, showed them where I lived growing up, so it, you know, there's a lot of memories just with that alone, but, uh, you know, I played with a lot of great players, you know, Jay Legault and Mark Cadot and uh, Gene Torello and uh, Mike Bazooka, just to name a few, but, you know, there's so many great memories, and now being here today watching a game against the Knights and the, uh, and the Greyhounds, it's, uh, you know, floods of memories are coming back. Take us back to that year when you did get to within one game of the Memorial Cup. The series against Plymouth still stands out to everybody. What do you remember from that? That was a battle. Like, that was a complete battle. I remember, you know, you know, after we ended up playing Belleville in the finals, we ended up losing, obviously, in the finals against Belleville. But that series against Plymouth was absolutely insane. You know, they had David Legg went on the team, uh, went on to a prolific career in the NHL. Uh, a lot of other players I can't remember off the top of my hand, but... It, it was just a battle, you know, every day, you know, we went into a grind. Uh, the series against Erie was uh, a crazy series. We had Niddle, who we played against, I remember then. You know, it was a hard-hitting battle. We ended up winning. We were up 3 nothing in that series, ended up tying it. They ended up tying it up 3-3. Three, three. We ended up winning 3-2. You know, there's, all these memories are coming back, you know. So it's, uh, you know, as a kid growing up, that's what you dream of. You know, you dream of playing in the OHL. You dream of playing in the NHL. And, uh, like I said, just being here today, seeing you, and, and then nights being in town, my little guy's here for a birthday party. Uh, memories are, like I said, they're, they're all coming back, and, and they're uh, so enjoyable to remember. You got just about every experience hockey could give, because you played junior hockey, you played in the National Hockey League, you played in Europe. The experience in, in the NHL, what do you take away from that? I think for me is, you know, there, I have a few regrets, obviously. The one regret I have is, is not enjoying the time that I had there. You know, I was always concerned, you know, whether I was going to get sent down or get called up or, you know, the pressure to perform. And, and, and that's in anything. That's the pressure to perform in anything you do in life and a job that you have. Um, but I think if I go back, if I can turn back the time, I would, 
you know, enjoy the moments a little bit more. You know, savor those moments. You know, I'm, I'm a little older now, I'm 39. I'm starting to understand life a little bit better. I wish I had to have that maturity, maybe a little bit younger at that time. Don't we all though? I wish, I mean, I wish. I mean, the kids nowadays are a lot more mature than what we were. I think so anyway, but uh, you know, that was the one thing, is cherish those small little moments. You know, those wins, you know, you got a bump and a bruise, you know, on your arm or your shoulder and, and just enjoy that moment that you know that um, you know, it was worth something, right? So, you know, now I go back and the only thing I have is memories. You know, I have pictures, I have memories and it's, you can never get those back, you know? And, and you know, you try to relive them and you're telling stories all the time, but it's not the same, you know? And, and that's what I want to give to all these kids growing up and playing hockey is just enjoy that time that you have because it goes by so quickly. And it's such a cliche, but it really does go by quick. Rico, great seeing you. Yeah. Best of luck. Thank you, good to see you too. It's been great. Good luck to London, good luck to the Greyhounds, good luck to my Knights, my old Knights. And uh, I miss the city of London, that's for sure.